Hi everyone, so this is lesson three, but it should be lesson four, so it's all good. Um, so we're talking about friction now. So friction opposes motion. So we've got three different scenarios here. It's just sat there. So all there is is a horizontal force. It's not moving anywhere, so that's fine. Now let's look at this one. So, oh, why is he doing this at all? Um, now, F max is the maximum frictional force that you've got acting on it. So if you imagine now, you're sat there at your desk, you've got your calculator on your desk, in its case, it's got them little rubber bits on it. If you just put your finger against it and just put a little bit of force against it, it doesn't move. Now this is what's happening with this second one, that kind of like the friction's just pushing back, saying, so, nah, I'm not moving yet. You're not pushing hard enough. So that's what the second one does. It says you're not pushing hard enough to break friction. And the biggest value of friction is the F max. So the third one says, ha ha, you're pushing hard enough that now it's moving. So my P value will be greater than my F max. Here, my P value is less than my F max. Does that kind of make sense to you? So the second one, push it a little bit, but I'm not pushing hard enough for it to break, to start to move. Whereas the third one, I'm pushing loads. Now, that breaking point is called the limiting value. The F max is called your limiting value. Oh, I'm actually doing my head in this board where it keeps doing this. Right, now we've got an equation for F max. And it has to do with it pressing down on the surface and how um, bobbly, <laughs> How um, not smooth, how rough the surface is. So F max, my maximum free friction, my limiting friction, is mu, the coefficient of friction, times by the normal reaction, how much force is pushing down on that on the, on the surface. So there you go. Right, so let's do an example then. So this says using G as 9.8. Find the maximum frictional forces that can act on a block of mass 4G, which rests on a rough horizontal plane. And we've got different coefficients of viscosity. So here we go. Here's my block. It weighs 4G. It has R acting up. So F max is mu R. Now R, if I look at F equals MA, perpendicular, it's not moving anywhere, so up minus down is equal to zero. So R minus 4G is equal to zero, so R is 4G. So if I look at my mu value then, it's 0.2, F max, which was mu R, so F max is 0.2 times 4G, so F max, the maximum frictional force I've got, this limiting force, is roughly 7.8 newtons. So I'll do it again now where it's on a rougher surface because the mu is higher. So it's rougher. So F max is mu r. So F max is the coefficient of viscosity, uh, the frictional coefficient times by the R value, which we said was 4G. So F max, if you put that in your calculator, comes out at 27 Newtons. So you can see the difference, that little bit of difference between mu being 0 0.2 and 0 0.7, how much extra force you need to have to push it. Right, let's have a look at example two then. Oh, why did you keep doing that? Getting my head in. So it says, example two says, a block of mass, five kilos, is at rest on a rough horizontal plane. The coefficient of friction between the block and the plane is 0 0.6. So it's five kilos, it's 0 0.6. A horizontal force P is applied to the block. Assuming G is 9.8, find the, the magnitude of the frictional force if. Now, that's kind of badly worded this. Let's work out the magnitude. So he's got that, but then it also, there's something missing up here. It's like, what happens if this P is there? If P is 12 or 29.4 or, or, or on it? So let's have a look at this. So I've got five.